Okay, this is my last channel message for today before I get into some more other stuff. So, YouTube, uh, I'm about to leave y'all alone in a minute. Um, I shuffled some cards out from the Light Sears deck. I love this deck. This deck is beautiful. It also, the Star Seed deck. The star seed oracle deck. So this is just for the light workers and the star seeds. So this is some messages. So if you can see, consider yourself as a light worker, and as somebody that uplift humanity, somebody who's social work counselor, somebody that's just uplifting humanity. Period. Or a star seed, which is somebody that's star struck and somebody that's unique you know what i'm saying somebody that ain't the same like other motherfuckers they differ from most you know then this this message might resonate for you <laughs> and usually light workers and star seeds are empaths and funny how that fell out on the table my camera setup is just not right because i'm set up at the down the room table but I'm going to get it together because my stand ain't long enough for me to be able to show the cards. And I'm not at my desk because I just don't want to be over there. Okay. First card we got out is Pillar of Light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. I feel like we, our vibration is rising. The, the message that I did, the channel message earlier that I did is people is waking up to their full potential. They becoming more enlightened within themselves and just becoming enlightened ain't nothing new. That knowledge already resided within you. You just waking up to what's really going on, the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say the veil is being lifted, but the veil is being lifted because that card fell out. So I clarified this card with the star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. So as you are saying, you are the oracle. Your vibration is going to rise. As you rise, you're going to have a lot of negative shit come your way. You're going to have a lot of negative energy come your way. You're going to have obstacles and challenges. But you need to rise above that shit and just have a higher perspective and see things from a higher perspective. Like in that eagle, um, as that eagle spirit animal, you know what I'm saying? Fly, rise above the full shit. But also have a clear view of what's going on around you and what's going on up under you. You know what I'm saying? The eagle can see things, shit, uh, can see really good from a, a long, far distance. And they shoot down and they can grab their prey with precision. And this is just saying, be laser focused on what it is you want as you are seeing up to where it is that you want to go. And be laser focused when you hone it in on your prayer. Your prayer is your goals. Your prayer is your whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Whatever it is that you want to get. You know what I'm saying? And your star, your star ancestors are right behind you. And they telling you to look a little deeper when you lost. When you feeling lost and when you feeling like you ain't got that support, go within and look deep. In order to go within and look deep, you got to get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. If you got to go sit in your backyard and just sit in the motherfucking grass and connect with nature, or hug, hug a tree or lean up against the tree to get that energy from the earth, do that. Get grounded. You highly sensitive. You an empath. Nine times out of ten, you feel what other people think. You feel they, finish, they energy. You know what I'm saying? Because I do. And I be like, shit, this ain't my motherfucking energy. Let me regroup. You know what I'm saying? Get my shit together. Lifting the bell, questioning everything. Anything on the line must go. As an empath, we known to be preyed on by narcissistic motherfuckers. That's when you lift that bell and everything must go. That's everything. Anything on the line must go. Anything ain't lining up with your values, let that shit go. Release it so something better can come. You can't grab nothing if you if you hold it on to something real tight. You can't open your hand up to shit else. You can't accept nothing else in if you still holding on to bullshit. You got to let that shit go so you can welcome in something that you really want. And you highly sensitive, so if you dealing with... Somebody with low self-esteem or somebody that's uh, not vibrating on your level, 
They are projecting their fears and their insecurities onto you. That's why you need to question everything and anything on the line must go. If motherfuckers ain't lining up with your purpose and your path, let that motherfucking shit go. And at the same time, we got deep replenishment, rest, retreat, and BL. Rest, retreat, and be ill. And if you ain't got nobody to be held by, be held by the divine. Know that God got you. God got your back. Fall into his arms. Let him hold you. Let him take care of you. Let him take that burden off your back. And this is the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Get out there, let yourself be seen. Because you're going to let yourself be seen by the right motherfucker that's going to hold your ass. Okay? And you're going to be held and it's going to be time for you to rest and replenish. Because that relationship is going to be one that's healing. You know... Bottom of the deck, I remember soul playing a faded life versus the destined life. Know what you faded to do. Whatever you faded to do is going to make you happy. Know what you destined to do. I mean, what you destined to do is going to make you happy. What you faded to do, with, that's society norm. You know what I'm saying? That's this matrix that we in, this program that we in, oh, you got to work, get a job and work a nine to five and blah, 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 this, then the other. That's your faded life versus your destined life. What you destined to do, what you passionate about, what your purpose is. So family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Call in your soul tribe. If you don't have a soul tribe, get out there and find one. If you vibing at the right level, your, your tribe is going to fucking find you. And just be open to mingling with they ass. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't do this dick. So I want to do some fairy oracle messages. <laughs> First one, flip healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Like I said, once you let go of the bullshit and welcome in this healing relationship, it's going to be healing. you going to heal that person and that person going to heal you and y'all going to heal together. Just as long as you honest. Honest with yourself. Lift the veil. Question everything. Anything on the line must go. This magical gateway has opened. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet, this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. It's time to open that heart up, step boldly forward without looking back into this healing situation. Know that you protection. 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 The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon spiritual work. So know that you protect it in this magical gateway. I know I'm protected. Okay, and they just reminded me to protect myself because I ain't saved before I did this reading. But these cards have been saved. Tree wisdom. The tree diary will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insight and answers through sounds and make. Listen to music. Music got messages in them. Nature signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature tell us continuously we need only to open our hearts and minds. Okay? Open your heart and your mind. Look at these signs. I get signs and synchronicity every synchronicities every day. Okay. You are protected. Ground yourself. Question everything. 
Don't let nothing that ain't supposed to be in your auric field, in your auric field, all that negative energy. Let that veil question everything. See motherfuckers for who they really is and how the courage to speak your truth. You know what I'm saying? Your soul family, you gonna find your soul family if you haven't already found your soul family. But you got to fucking ground yourself. And remember what your destiny is. What is your destiny like versus what, what you faded here to do? Don't be guilty of letting motherfuckers go that don't, don't belong in your circle anyway. Don't have regret <laughs> when it comes down to what it is you want that's going to keep you grounded. And have empathy for yourself, okay? Have empathy for yourself. Don't have regret and don't feel guilty. Basically, when it comes down to what it is you want and being grounded, speaking your truth, using your intuition. Because you're going to persevere. This is, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. You are going to persevere. And that's the message. If you like this message, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And enjoy your night.